Give me a name and I'll take care of it. I have allergies. Me too. I'm allergic to assholes and bullshit. Now tell me who made you cry and I'll fix it. Okay. vlog this is the book that i'm starting with binding 13 i feel like everybody's been waiting for me to finally read this book i did hear that i should have purchased the rest of the series because once i get to the end of this i'm not gonna want to like stop reading the series i didn't purchase a second book so i'm this is the first book we're starting with today and then i have a couple other options but the thing is is this one is 577 pages look at the font can you even I don't know if it's gonna focus on it. Hold on. I'm dog sitting. This is Molly. I don't even know whose glasses these are. This is what it's gonna have to be like. Wait, they actually zoom in a lot. Zoom in. They don't stop it. But I feel the need to have a magnifying glass near my eyes or some reading glasses while I read this. I hear once you get into it, you don't actually notice that the font is as small as it is. But why is it so tiny? What's the deal with that? I have been told over and over again that this book is going to wreck me. I believe it's a romance book, but it's also so much more than that. I'm kind of trying to go into this a little bit blind, but from reading the beginning of the back, there is this guy Johnny, he has everything kind of going for him. And it says he's in college and he plays rugby, but I'm pretty sure college, wherever they're at, is considered high school, so they're actually high schoolers. I think that's also a reason why I was putting off this book. Anyways, there's a new girl at the college or high school or whatever, and she kind of like shows up and she's just always around and she distracts him. She distracts him, um, but she has bruises all over her and sad eyes. What a distraction. Oh, Johnny has no room to make mistakes. But what happens when a lonely girl with sad eyes becomes the only picture? I don't know, Johnny, what happens? I think I've said this before, but I definitely thought this book was about firefighters. What's up with that? This is giving, oh, what is that like Christian movie? Back when I was a kid, I'm gonna put the name here or whatever it is here. This is for some reason when I first saw this cover, this is what I thought of. a hurler like joey darren was a phenomenal hurler okay found out this is in ireland so this is why it's a little bit different than what i'm used to because i'm from america a baseball pitcher hold on oh in ireland okay so it kind of looks like lacrosse is hurling the fastest sport in the world i don't know let's find out it is the oldest and fastest field sport in the world Dating back 3,000 years. So interesting. Why have I never heard of this sport before? Played with a wooden stick. It reminds me of lacrosse. Oh my god. Her brother said she looks lovely. <laughs> Why does that make me want to cry after hearing about her upbringing and her getting bullied? And her brother just saying, you look lovely. Like, it's just so wholesome. I just hate when people get bullied. Shannon's first day at her new school. I feel so bad for her. I just feel so bad for her. But me cute, not ideal, but me cute, you know? <laughs> Their first impression is so cute. <laughs> this first interaction. Oh my god. I love how he calls her Shannon like the river because when he's like, what's your name? She's like, Shannon, like the river. And now he says Shannon like the river. This is good. This is good. I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm not even noticing how small the words are because I'm enjoying it so much. And I was actually really concerned about that. Not this man having a groin injury. I'm not making fun of groin injuries, bro. I had one in soccer growing up, but it's the thing that he did after his surgery. Strict instructions to leave my penis alone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was two weeks ago and I still hadn't touched my dick. Good. <laughs> he was traumatized. 
<laughs> I'm gonna bring you down. Um, Gerard, what is his name? Jespy, what does he go by? Gerard, him and this freaking cat is so funny. <laughs> I cannot stop laughing at his cat having explosive. Hello? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, hi. Anyways, Gerard's cat is having explosive diarrhea in the bathroom, and this scene is unreasonably funny. Why is he looking at her? Why is he looking at her? Stop. Why are you looking at her? Why are you looking at her? You're making me nervous. You're making me nervous. I love how obsessed he is. I wouldn't, I mean, he's not trying to fight his obsession. But I just love it when they're like, I've never felt this way before. What is it about this girl? And I'm like, ah! <sighs> That's my favorite. Is that a trope? Well, obsession trope? It is a trope now. When he's obsessed. <sighs> I love it. He's staring again! He's staring at her again! He's making me nervous! Why are you staring? I would throw up. I said this when I read Love Theoretically. I was like, if this man like gave me this much attention or I don't know, just treated me like I wasn't invisible, it makes me like nauseous a little bit. And that's something I need to unpack and I'm working on it. Specifically for the past four years, have loved feeling invisible. Not necessarily to just like people I'm attracted to, anybody. Like it's been so nice to just be in the background. I don't want people to know I'm there. I don't want people to acknowledge me. I prefer it that way. And that's just, uh, stop. And I'm glad I acknowledge that I do that because I need to stop it. I deserve space. That's something I tell myself every single day. Or if I'm in an, a situation where I'm like, oh my God, I wish people would just not pay attention to me right now. Or I wish this indiv individual would stop making eye contact with me. Like I want to just be invisible. And I'm like, no, you deserve to take up space. You deserve to be a person with a personality. So shut up and stop. What are you doing? I have no idea how the series is going to go. And I don't know if some of these side characters are getting their own book. Either way, I need Claire and Gitsby, Gipsy, whatever the hell they call them, Gerard, to get be together, to get married. Because their little banter is really cute. That's like, that's really cute. Also, I just realized it's page 113 and they're basically having like their first conversation. They had one interaction at the beginning of the book, their little meet cute that wasn't so meet cute, and now page 113 and they're like talking for the first time again. They haven't spoken since like page 12. <laughs> Wait, how did I not realize that? Like they were thinking about each other because it's dual POV, but they, they literally are having like their first real conversation right now. Because the first scene with them, it wasn't even like a real conversation. Like, hey, hi. You know, if you've read it, then you know. She's so awkward. <laughs> he's recounting his singular conversation he's basically had with her. And he's like rethinking what he said. And one of the things he said to her was, I can take you home when you have to go. And then his present, he's like, what the actual f Like, why did I say that? He says, I might as well have shouted, love me, love me at the girl. <laughs> He's so obsessed. I love it. Ah. Johnny just beat the shit out of somebody for f***ing with her. Okay. Okay, that's not dreamy at all. I mean, but the guy didn't know what the word no meant, apparently. So he deserved it. However, that is really... <laughs> that's cute. I'm not gonna lie, he broke his nose and everything. <laughs> Johnny, I'm I'm like trying to love you, man, and I really do. But you have some anger issues. Like at the part I'm at, he's giving me I punch a hole in the wall when I get angry vibes. And I know he's going through a lot. I get it. I do. Maybe try therapy. Maybe don't. Well, also, I get really anxious when people drive really fast. And so Shannon being like, he's driving really fast and having to ask him to slow down, like that just makes me really anxious because I do not, like I can't do people speeding. It just doesn't, it makes me feel very unwell. So that made me anxious. And then his little outburst. Let's bring it down a notch, Johnny. Let's 
bring it down a notch. Love you, bring it down. I was told this book was going to be sad, right? I was told it was gonna make me emotional. Should we go kill her father? I could do it myself. These are literally words on paper and I'm like, I think I hate her dad. Not, not think, I do. cry. What the f happened to your face? Your cheek is red. Who did this to you? Give me a name. Okay, now I need to like calm down and reread. I love who did this to you so much. Give me a name and I'll take care of it. I have allergies. Me too. I'm allergic to assholes and bullshit. Now tell me who made you cry and I'll fix it. God. I love how they say, like, it must be in like an Irish thing. Instead of saying I'm great, they say I'm grand. If someone's like, how are you doing, Heather? What's up with you today? I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm great. I'm gonna be like, I'm grand. How are you, Heather? I'm grand. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm grand. I am over halfway through Binding 13. I started reading it this morning and I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I am. I'm like, I, I'm like really in love with this book. I can't put it down. It's so good and so deep, but in the right ways. I haven't gotten bored. The storyline is great. It's so good. You need to check the trigger warning though because there is one specific trigger warning that could be really rough. So check it if you are thinking about reading this book. I'm loving it. And there, there's not even any like romance actually happening. There's so much more than that. It's so much more than romance. So much more than smut. Actually, I'm ordering Saving Six right now. Not Saving Six, Keeping 13. Keeping 13 added to, added to cart, purchasing now. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. Okay, so this will probably come in on Thursday or Friday. <sighs> I cannot believe this book is gonna be only $13. Wait, it says it's gonna be here on July 5th. I don't know how you're working with that Amazon or if you're not giving your employees July 4th off, but I don't really care because now I get the book. I do care, I do care. That was a joke. I do care. Amazon, I hope you're giving your employees time off. For sake. Um, however, my package is getting here on the 5th and I would be lying if I said I wasn't excited about that and it getting here so quickly. a good man, Savannah. A good man. They don't call it a windshield, they call it a windscreen. Listen, I'm loving the little quirks. They don't say they say arse. They don't say great, they say grand. They don't say they say bleeding. The bleeding, not the bloody, the bleeding. What else is weird that they say? Or different, not weird different. Lad. They call everybody a lad. Can we start calling everybody lad? Literally, the comments on my next Instagram post is gonna be like, you look beautiful, lad. Is that the proper way to use it? It's just like saying friend. I have no idea. Couldn't remember where I put you and I'm on the last chapter or I'm about to read the last chapter of Binding 13 and I'm freaking out. There is literally six pages left. <gasps> Oh my god. Shannon's like all of her brothers, but her little brothers in this moment. Oh my god. No, wait. I think I need to see how much this book costs on Kindle because I don't know if I can wait till Thursday. I was going to read Lock Every Door next. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Amazon.com, buddy. Oh my god, it's five bucks. I'm buying it. Uh, do I even have my Kindle here? I do! I literally, guys, we have to purchase. That's my hair. Okay, ready? Buy now with one purchase. Oh, I gotta sign in. Now we're starting Keeping 13. <laughs> Keeping 13 is a continuation of Binding 13 and I'm more than positive that one still focuses mostly like with the main characters being Shannon and Johnny. 
and then saving six and then whatever the other one is starts to focus on Joey, Shannon's brother. This author knows how to write a story. A, like the perfect amount of depth in it, but it's also fun and there's a little bit of humor thrown in, but it's not a comedy by any means. It's more of just a beautifully written story, but the little aspects of humor, mostly coming from Gibsy, one of the side characters, he's he's carrying the humor. Okay, let's get it started. I've been sitting on this couch for so long that my stomach rolls are starting to gather sweat in them. Like I'm having to lean back and straighten them out. It's not even warm in this house. I'm just sitting here literally, let me, let me show you. Demonstration time, everybody. I'm literally like, the hunchback of Notre Dame over here, so invested in this freaking book, and there's sweat forming. Oh my god, straighten out, man. I'm also sweating because this is just making me nervous. Mm, not like super nervous, I'm just reading faster than I've ever read in my life. I think I started this book 30 minutes ago. 45 minutes ago, I'm on page 57. I have never read that fast in my life. <gasps> what the f What the f it's a kilometer! Ah! <gasps> oh my god! I want to commit a violent act. Well, I want to commit violence towards a lot of people in this book. But in this moment, I want to hit a woman. I want to punch a woman in the face. And I know, I get it, I really do. I want to commit violence. I've read almost 600 pages today. I finished binding 13 this morning and I can't put down keeping 13. I'm needing closure and I have yet to find it. And thankfully I have no plans. So I was like, let's just keep reading until we find said closure. It's currently 4.30. I'm on page 400. Read like 200 pages this morning of the other book. 400 into keeping 13. No closure yet. It's all going well. It's not going well. I don't know why I said that. It's actually not. It's actually going to sh and I felt like I've good I've been feeling like I'm gonna throw up every two seconds. Cause this is incredibly stressful. But I need something really good to happen. And until that happens, I'm not putting it down. Johnny goes to Shannon, I'm on your team. Do you get that? I'm totally with you, Shannon Lynch. One call, that's all you need to make and I'll come. I won't let you down and I won't leave you alone in this, I promise. Shannon goes it's just weird for me because I've never had someone in my corner before, not someone like you. Johnny goes, I'm not in your corner, Shannon. I'm standing right beside you. Okay. He's so good to her. Like, so good to her. I hope every single one of you finds a Johnny. The tropes in Binding 13 and Keeping 13 are friends to lovers, first love, sports romance. Friends to lovers more than anything and first love obviously more than anything. It is about teenagers and I was concerned going into the series and I think I put it off for so long because I heard it was about teenagers. Shannon is 16, Johnny is 18, but it's not weird at all. If that's something you're concerned about or you've been putting off reading the series for that reason and not because the books are literally the size of Bibles, like they're freaking huge, but if that is your reasoning, I say give it a shot because that's also what I was concerned about. I was just like, is it going to be too YA for me? No, not at all. If anything, I don't consider this YA. It has some really heavy topics in it and it kind of brings this awareness of just because they're teenagers doesn't mean they're not going through difficult things as well because I feel like so many young books where it's about teenagers, obviously they're not focusing on heavier topics specifically YA books. It's very lighthearted, it's very funny, it's very, sur not necessarily surface level, but it's not going too deep. That is not the case in this book. And Keeping 13. Is it bad to take expired Midol? Is that bad? F man. Can you guess what time of the month it is? All I had was this bottle of Midol that's been sitting in my truck for God knows how long. I was trying to finish keeping 13 this morning. I can't see straight. So now we're watching SWAT. Okay, but anyways, I took my doll. That has, it's been expired for a while. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, I love being a woman. I love it. 
I love it. Mm-hmm. You know, I really want to be that person that like embraces my period and is like, oh, I feel kind of witchy during this time. I love it. Dude, the first day, fuck you. I'm gonna barf. There's a lot of hot people in SWAT. A few weeks ago, I watched The Night Agent with this guy. This is who I picture as my MMC for every single book now. There's something about me and organized crime. What is this considered? I watched White House Down two days ago and that was freaking incredible. It's like so entertaining for my brain. Honestly, anything with action in it does it for me and I can't see straight at the moment, so we're gonna carry on. I love Johnny's parents and I want to be like that. They are my idols. That's how I'm trying to be. They're just so helpful and they love so well. It's the way I finished both of these books in four days. That's how much I read. I really loved this series. I think I'm going to like Joey's books more now that I kind of have a, like a full background of him and I kind of know what I'm getting myself into. However, I did hear that both of his books Redeeming Six and Saving Six. That may not be the order or the actual names. Heather, I need you to fact check. Binding 13, I'm gonna give it 4.5 stars. Keeping 13, I'm gonna give it four stars. Simply because the last 100 pages, I'm not gonna lie, I skimmed a lot of it. Felt like they were really drawn out. And I was like, okay, I have absolutely adored and loved this series and I love these characters, but I, I need it to be over. You know, you know when you read a really long book and you finish it and you're like, I, in the moment, needed it to be over, like I just said, but I'm appreciative of all of the pages that were in the book. That's how I feel. Overall, I love this series. I'm obsessed with the characters. I love Johnny and Shannon. I can't wait for Joey and Ophi. Afi. I'll definitely do a reading vlog in the future over the next two books in the series. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, a Heads Book Club, and I will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.